Hey Google. What's on the agenda? You got a haircut appointment today. Oh no. Oh my god. Yes, I know time for these trash ass barbers to fuck you up again. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, let me get to Where are you going with that goofy ass drip boy? What'd you say? That ain't even drip. You got dressed in the dark. Oh hell no. I I got it. <laughs> So there are a couple things in this life that most people are scared of, right? You got death, you got taxes, and you got the scariest one of them all. Boom! Did you get scared? Yeah, yeah, that's a job application. I know that's scary for a lot of people. And the last thing is getting a trash ass haircut or having a trash ass barber. I hate this one. This one scares me the most, man. Now having a trash barber can be the break or make for you, right? You know, a good barber can make you look good. You know, maybe sprinkle in a little bit of unspoken riz in there for you, you know? Make make you look great. Then with the trash barber, just expect just expect dude to mess you up. Just expect dude to be trash, fuck you up. Like there ain't no other way to put it. The trash ass barber will take you from a rat to a rat with a trash ass hairline and no unspoken riz. Shit, maybe it'll even scare off the hoes, man. But with all that being said, let's get into a couple reasons why these trash barbers make me sick. Number one, who in their right mind gave these trash ass barbers a license to cut? Was it Stevie Wonder? Did Stevie Wonder say one day, hey, you know what I wanna do? I wanna teach a barbershop class. Cause why not, you know? And I'm not talking about like the trash barbers from sports clips. I'm not talking about sports clips or that one haircut place in Walmart, right? We already know they trash. I'm talking about like the place is packed and dude is the only one that doesn't have anybody. Cause guess what? He's trash. Like it be so packed people going out the door right and dude don't got nobody on his chair that's the trash barbers i'm talking about and like when i'm in the chair waiting for the barber right to start i see his license on the desk and i'm like all right i'm gonna be in good hands this man went to school did all the little hands-on things at the school you know so i feel like i'm in good hands you know you think that right and then two hours later i come out with a 90 degree hairline bro shit looking horrible bro and i could probably recreate that soldier boy picture you know bro even if they didn't like fuck up my hairline or my hairline is all crooked and shit even if that doesn't happen my shit ends up being pushed back to mount fucking everest bro all the way back to the himalayas bro with tears running down my face like huh bro like how you go to school and be this trash like you did all that hands-on shit just to be this garbage bro stevie wonder must have been in this person's class teaching them how to cut because the shit is so ass bro save me from these trash ass barbers bro but anyways, number two, what am I supposed to do when it's over? Like I'm sitting on their chair, right? On the verge of tears. And I'm looking at this trash ass haircut. Like, tell me what I'm supposed to do. I be thinking in my head, you know, about a whole lot of shit. You know, I could boot gang myself out of here, you know, not pay this man, you know. I could fight the barber, you know, that, that'd be a great option. You know, me, me and the barber would, should squabble or something, but that won't bring back my hairline. But you know what always ends up happening is I pay the barber and give them a little tip every time. Like they be charging 30, 40, up to $50 just to fuck up my hairline or push that shit back to China, my guy. $50 for this messed up trash ass cut. And they be saying, bro, oh, bro, your beard was extra, bro. Your beard was extra, sorry. But your beard was extra when I got no beard. It's like patches on my neck. It's like literally KSI patches on my neck, bro. Like clearly nothing there. I also think maybe I want to ask him if, you know, he wants to redo the haircut, you know, maybe. Maybe that would be, be the better option, you know, but nah. I don't want my shit messed up even more at that point. I'm going to just wear a hat or a beanie or some shit. I'm going to probably have to go bald at this point. Like shit's crazy. I just want to walk out in tears. And the third and final reason. I want to rally every trash barber together 
and fight them, you know? I'll be the person that's gonna take one for the team and fight every trash barber for every trash haircut someone has ever received. I want like a battle royale type fight with these trash ass barbers. And then whoever wins this battle royale between all the trash ass barbers, I'm gonna get a good barber and make that man do a barber off with a good barber. So it's gonna be the trash barber against the good barber. You know, like it's gonna be some crazy shit, you know, might put that shit on pay-per-view. But with all them reasons being said, I hope Stevie Wonderite can stop training these barbers so I can stop getting these horrible ass cuts. And leave a like on the video, you know, if you enjoyed, you know, sub for more. And yeah, I'm out to yet again find another barber and yet again be disappointed. Peace. <laughs> no. Uh, what time is it? Oh shit, I'm late to my haircut. Oh shit.